Hi, Brandon. It's nice to see you again. How are you? I'm good. Good yeah. to see you again. Yeah, so I know we've met a few times over the past few weeks. Um, I am a um, nurse practitioner student. I am just going to go ahead and assess you today. So I am going to take a look at some cardiac and respiratory things. Uh, is that okay if I go ahead and get started? Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to start in the front of you. I want to take a look at your respiratory pattern. Uh, chest is symmetrical, expansion is symmetrical currently. Um, I don't see you leaning over to breathe. I don't see any use of accessory muscles. Uh, nothing abnormal with the breathing. I'm going to move to your side. I'm going to move to the back of you. So I don't see any barrel chesting. Um, you are one to two with diameter, which is normal. Alrighty. Go ahead and hold up your hands for me. I want to check for clubbing. Perfect. And move to the side for me. And then rotate so I can see. Perfect. Okay. All right. Everything seems to check out there. Um, we are going to go ahead and move on to palpation. Thank you for removing your shirt so that we can properly um, kind of assess that. Okay. Sure. So I am going to start in the front of you. Uh, before I palpate, I am inspecting uh, your trachea. Um, Angle Lewis is correct. Supernatural is correct. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and move to full palpation. I'm going to feel the front of you. Any pain with palpation? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna move to the back of you. Any pain with palpation? Nope. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hands at about your tenth rib. Okay. I want you to take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Perfect. All right. And I want you to do something kind of silly for me. Say the word 99. 99. Again. 99. Again. 99. Perfect. And I'm going to have you kind of swing to the front over here, right here. Okay. And then say the words again. 99. Again. 99. Perfect. All right. So, um, did any, was there any pal like pain with palpation or anything of that sort? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there was no crepitus, there was no abnormal masses, lumps, anything on my, on my um, palpation. Um, you said no pain. Um, all right, I suppose we will move on to percussion. How does that sound? Sure. All righty. All righty, like I said, we're going to go ahead and move on to percussion. Um, so this is a bunch of movements that I'm going to tap on you to ensure that everything um, feels okay. What we're looking for is dullness or resonance. So I'm going to start tapping on you. Okay. okay. I'm going to move to the back of you. Alrighty, so I am going to have you do something. I'm going to have you um, take a deep breath in and hold it. Okay. Okay, go ahead and let it out. You're going to feel me right on you with a skin pin. I promise I'll remove it before you leave. Uh, I am going to just check for diaphragmatic expansion. Okay. I'm going to have you do the same thing. Hold it. I'm going to do the other side as well. Okay, deep breath in. Oh, sorry. Ready? Okay, deep breath in. Hold it. Okay, let it out. Okay, I'm going to ask you to do it again. Alright, so you're at about two centimeters, which is normal. Normal is between two and three centimeters for diaphoretic, diaphoretic expansion. Um, any pain or anything with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. We're going to move on to the next bit, okay? Yeah. All right, everybody, we're going to move on to the auscultation portion. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and have you kind of flip your legs around so that we can properly see. Like so? Yep, perfect. 
So I'm going to listen for breath sounds. I'm going to look for um, anything abnormal. I'm looking for breath sounds like um, you are going to be clear, no wheezing, no ronchi, no rails, no crackles, nothing of that sort. So I am going to go ahead and begin. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to move to your um, posterior, so if you could go ahead and flip your legs around. Like so? Yep, that way I can properly assess your posterior. Lung sounds are clear, um, no crackles, no wheezing, and any lobes. Um, respiratory rate was regular, looks great. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to what we call the vocal resonance. Um, so I'm going to be listening at multiple points when you say certain words. Um, this is going to um, focus on if there's any cons consolidation. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started, okay? All right. All right, so there's three ways that we can do this. Um, so I can either um, have you do it saying different words. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you auscultate, or I'm going to auscultate um, while you say a certain word and I'm gonna listen while you say it. All right, what's the word? Uh, so you're going to go ahead and say 99, okay? Okay. All right, go ahead. 99. 99. 99. 99, 99, 99. Okay. Gonna move to the front of you. 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay, perfect. So this was clear at the top and it muffled as we were going down, which is appropriate for that exam. Um, like I said, there were three different ways that you could do it. That was the first one that we could do, um, and it was great. So, good work. We're going to move on to the next portion of the exam, okay? Okay. Alrighty. So, like I said, we just did the uh, voice resonance test. Um, so, we would, the one we did was the auscultation. Um, we could have done the egophony test or the whisper test. And like I said, we did the auscultate while saying 99. Um, so we are going to go ahead and move on to the cardiac portion of the exam. Um, so right now I'm going to inspect, I'm going to take a look at your uh, cardiac anatomy from the side, front, and back. Uh, so upon inspection, uh, everything looks great. I don't see any noticeable heaves, um, nothing of that sort. Uh, no pulsations, looks symmetrical, um, looking at the anatomical portion being um, the apex, your sternal borders, your sternum. Looks good. Uh, I am going to go ahead and stand to the side uh, and use some lighting to take a look. I have a pin light here. There we go. Yep. No heaves that I can see. Okay. Uh, didn't see any lifts, no pulsations. Um, for the next portion of the exam, I am going to have you lay down. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to shine the light over the area as well to look for the heaves or lifts, um, pulsations of that sort. So we're going to go ahead and move to uh, the couch, okay? All right. All right. Now that you're sitting down, I'm kind of going to do the same thing like I was at your side. I am going to come to your left side, shine a light to see if there's any heaves, lifts, uh, any pulsations. Ensure that it looks symmetrical. 
You want to put your arm down by your side? Sure. Okay, good. No heaves, no lifts, no pulsations. Uh, everything appears symmetrical. Um, so we are going to go ahead and move on. Uh, I am going to start palpating while you're laying down. Uh, I'm going to palpate the base of your heart looking for heaves. And then I'm also going to palpate your left sternal border uh, looking for heaves as well, okay? All right. All right, so you're going to feel me using the base of my hand. Good. No heaves, no thrills, uh, no pulsations, um, nothing of that sort currently. Um, I am then going to... Um, palpate the apex of your heart and then I'm also going to be looking for heaves as well okay All right, um, and then I am going to move on to the thrills portion. Um, I think I said that earlier uh, when I was looking for the heaves, but I am going to go ahead and move on to um, trying to feel for thrills. So I am going to feel with the upper portion of my hand. No thrills noted. Uh, I am going to have you roll to your left side so that I can feel um, that mitral. This kind of brings your... Okay, perfect. All right, you can go back laying on your back. All right, sorry for all the position changes. Um, now that you're sitting up again, I am going to assess the apex of your heart. Um, this is going to be looking for heaves, and now that you're sitting up, this just makes it a little bit easier, okay? Okay. So you're going to feel me touch. Set my stethoscope down here behind you. All right. No heaves, which is great. All right. Next in the cardiac exam, I am going to move on to auscultation. I'm going to listen to your heart sounds uh, to ensure that everything sounds okay. Uh, this is going to take a look at your valves as well. Uh, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and start with your aortic. Does that feel okay for you? Am I causing you any pain? Uh -huh. Not at all. Okay, great. All right, and then we're going to move on to tricuspid. Okay, and then mitral. Um, all of that sounded great. I didn't hear any muffling. Um, it sounded regular. Um, nothing sounded abnormal, which is great. Um, I am going to go ahead and listen with my bell now, since I've already listened with my diaphragm. Um, sometimes we can hear a little bit difference with the change in placement of the uh, stethoscope, okay? Sure. All right. Aortic. No murmur, 
bars, uh, no additional heart sounds, everything sounded regular and clear. Um, I was able to hear S1, S2, perfect love dub, um, no extra sounds. Um, I am going to go ahead and have you kind of um, like lean forward and hold your breath and I'm once again going to take a listen, okay? okay. And I'll let you know when I'm ready. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and have you lean forward, hold your breath. Aortic, verbis point, mitral, or tricuspid, mitral. Perfect. Is that too difficult for you? Everything mm -hmm. okay? Oh yeah. Okay, I know it's kind of silly to ask you to lean forward and hold your breath. All right. Um, as of auscultation, um, I think that's it for the cardiac sounds. Um, I'm going to have you um, sit up like you are and I'm going to take a look and see if you have any JVD. Uh, I am going to have to have you lay back down again and kind of sit up so that we can look for the presence of JVD, okay? Okay. So initial assessment, I'm going to take a look here. Oh, I misplaced my pen light. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Take a look. I don't see any JVD here. Nothing here. Alrighty, and I'm gonna make sure I don't have anything else to do with you before um, I have to have you lay back down again to look for the presence of JVD. Um, I don't think so. Um, obviously, I'm not going to complete a breast exam currently on you, but I am going to verbalize that this will be complete. Uh, I'm going to have you move to the couch again while I can look for JVD, um, and then we will be okay. All right. Okay. We'll be finished. All righty. Brennan, like I said, I'm going to take a look for JVD, that is jugular vein distension, um, that's present in your neck. So I am going to take a look with my light, um, inspect, and see and ensure that there's nothing there, okay? Okay. All righty. So I am going to look from the side. Good. All right. I'm going to offer you my hand and I'm going to have you just sit up just a fraction as our bed doesn't really recline here. Like so. Yep. Perfect. All right. And I don't see any JVD, which is perfect. Exactly what we're looking for. Um, and I believe that concludes our exam. Okay. Do you have any comments, questions, concerns? Not at all. All right. Well, thank you for your time today. I appreciate you, and I'll see you next time, okay? Yep. All right.